Why did 18 people run into that room looking for this leg? Uh, I have no idea. There's just so uh, the, Some of the bags have, um, what did he call them? Residences? We, we he watched like, the like, residences and he gave us this photo. So we found okay. the leg. Yeah. And so you now found the leg? Yes. The, the trial continues. Are you looking for a leg? The leg has been found. They have the leg. What has been found so far? The stuffed animal was left behind by the finder of the leg. Oh no! Let me return 999 to its sources. My word. These people. Leave it up. Frickin' pig stuff. I, I believe you lost your son. Oh, 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 We're trying to find an arm. An arm. But it's gone. It was between the couch cushion, but it's not there anymore. It's not there anymore. Hello again, Joe. Hi there. How are you doing? Um, a bit more confused than I was to begin with, unfortunately. It seems like we all are. Yeah, with all this singing and hullabaloo and everything, it's a little bit of an abstract way to try and figure out all these issues. Why, why the singing? Your guess no? is as good as mine. Okay, why the doll? So that... Izzy had been holding on to the, the, essentially the torso of that thing okay. for, for months, even before I was here. And presumably had this whole theory that the idea was whispering to him that it was some clue to the gateway out. Okay, a way out. So that's what they're Easter egg hunting right now. Apparently. Do you have anything that could test a uh, fluid for a sort of intoxicant? I can kind of test something under the microscope, see if I can find any anomalous... Or... I feel like unless you had a slide specific to putting a liquid under it, that would be very helpful. That's true. Okay, can you tell me about the mason jar? Yeah, so apparently this is SCP-2103 called, quite simply, a mason jar. Indeed. And basically, it can be used to hold everyday objects like a normal mason jar, but its unique property is that it allows people to store a singular concept or idea in there, and when they do, it escapes from their own mind. So essentially, if you wanted to pass a lie detector test by not revealing a secret, you could speak the secret into the mason jar, you wouldn't have any actual recollection of it, and then once the lie detector pass went through, you could take the memory back out of it and put it back into your brain. And this is not an anomaly I've studied in my time at the Foundation. What would happen if you opened said mason jar? Um, supposedly, if the person who owned it, I guess Ren at this point, would probably regain whatever memory was stored in it, if there was in fact one to begin with. So, if their jar was in their pocket, would it be pertinent to hand them the jar and have them open it and see what happened? Would that be an experiment we'd like to run? I think so, Baron. Joe, would you help me with this? Absolutely. Oh, let's hope this hullabaloo doesn't stop us. Yeah. Maybe a little bit more. Oh, Ren. 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 May we have a word? Okay. Um, well, Theron here was kind of made me realize something. This mason jar that was found in your jacket, supposedly it's able to hold on to a single idea or concept from the person who has ownership of it. And clearly it was yours, it was in your jacket. So we think potentially if we open up this jar right now, we might be able to regain whatever memory was stored here to begin with. Would you be willing to try it? Yes. Honestly, the stories have changed so many times, but my suspicion keeps coming back, unfortunately, to Sloan. It seems that who's awake at the time, you guys didn't agree on who was in the room. Well, I, I do have to confess something. I can't 
fully verify that there was no one in the because I wasn't. I mean, I was initially, but then I just got concerned that Carter must have been blackmailed or given some type of evidence or letter or something that convinced him to come out here and confront Cam that late at night. So instead, I went into Iris and Carter's room, kind of looking through the closet, checking for evidence. Can you catch me up? What did, what would Carter have needed blackmail for? What was, I mean, potentially something about his relationship with Iris, his idea of getting out of here, his desire to potentially kill someone else in the settlement, um, whatever the situation was. I wasn't able to stumble upon anything, but I heard footsteps coming into the room, so I quickly hid in the closet. And at that point, I heard Iris and Dr. Warner Tainman come into the room. And quite understandably, I was just grieving, and Dr. Warner Tainman was comforting me. Okay, yeah. can you tell me about you and Sloan's relationship? I mean, they're the head researcher, I'm essentially the second in command, and they. Strictly, strictly business? Yeah, I mean, I I like to think that I was like the third wheel to Sloan and Cam this whole time. And, um, I wanted to ask the both of them. Oh, I think that, that guy finally punched that shark he was talking about. Uh, they are rather one track minded, the SPC. <laughs> they have one thing, but they do it rather efficiently. Every now and then it's good to have a worker be like that. There's one thing about if things do point to Sloan, I do think that Ren's testimony about Sloan going to talk to Cam immediately after the murder might have some weight there. I think if Cam can verify for you that he spoke with Sloan for part of the time, but not all the time, that can at least verify that Sloan was up and about and might have been somewhere where there was no evidence where she could have moved the body without contact. And, and this pen, do you know anything about this pen that came up during that whole hubbub? I think it might have just been a gift, a gift that was once given by Cam to Sloan and she decided to return to it in the moment. Dr. Adelby? Adelby. Do you have any word on this pen, on this, oh, uh, we're all here. Welcome to. Welcome to the pen. We are currently trying to find the rest of the pieces of the bell for the rest of the we have 20 minutes before we should find who's trying to kill everyone before we leave, though. Agreed. I, mean, do we really, I, would I have a, I have a feeling that they'll find a way to not let us leave if we do. That's the thing. If you guys are having a hard time figuring out how to finish this goal thing to get us out of here, there's a very good chance whoever is doing the murders is constantly trying to, to keep us here. I did hear that the doll part that was in the couch was not supposed to be there, or was gone. If it was gone, it might have been hidden by said impostore. I agree. What? Wait. But that would be my advice to you, is if you can, talk to Cam about his time with Sloan after the murder. See if we can get a time frame of her whereabouts. I'll take a look while my team investigates the rest of this office right now. Thank you, Darren. Yeah. Todd? Have you narrowed down, eliminated any suspects? Right now, my only situation is, uh, it was Edgar Sloan, in my mind. Or, something is about Joe is weirding me out, but I don't have any evidence of anything yet. He's just too normal. He's just too normal. There's something there. No one named Joe is normal. Well, that's, that's not true. The opposite's true. If you wanna, if you wanna play, run this line, I'll run that one. Well, I, I'm gonna have you run this line, actually. Well, uh, I tried to investigate <laughs> Joe. I already did. Uh, I'm sorry, he's currently flirting with Lynn Freeman and overtaking his company. Seems legit. What happened to Wonder Taman? He is messed up. Oh. What happened to Wonder Taman? He is messed up. Oh, he's done. What? He's done. What? He's done. He's done. He's done. We can't get out of here if the person who made it is here. Alright, I'm gonna go to Cam next. What? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Wonder Taman! Wonder Taman! Fireplace! 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 I'll let, I'll let Dr. Adelby handle that. Hello, hello. We're gonna let them handle that. I've got a question for you. Have you talked to anybody, about, anyone about your evening, about Sloan's interaction with you after the murder, directly after the murder? Um, yeah, well, uh, actually, it was kind of awful. She, she said that she felt betrayed by me and that she didn't. I don't want to interrupt. Something, if you're something important. Can you 
Can you give us exactly a minute? Yes. Alright, go for it. Um, people were saying, I mean, she was saying that I had betrayed her. And that I had, she was saying that. She was saying that. She was saying that I had betrayed her by killing Carter and that she was doubting if any interaction we had ever had was genuine because I had been lying to her for our whole relationship. Um, and she had said that she didn't know if she felt the same way about me anymore. So, and that's interesting. She and was that all she said to you? Then she, what happened next? We talked for a really long time. A really long time. Um, we talked pretty much the whole morning until we heard Joe yelling about the body being missing. The entire time. Yeah. Interesting. There's a lot of ruckus, but one more question. A pen was given to you. Yeah. Why did she give you that pen if it was? A conversation about betrayal. What did the pen mean? I guess she had some time to uh, think about it. And I think she wants to trust me, or at least that's what I think this means. It's her favorite pen. It means a lot to her. Yeah. Have you opened the pen? Have you have you written anything with it? No. Can you write on that book? Can you test it out? It looks normal. And your mind is not injured to the point of not being able to write language, so that's at least good for you. I guess so. What is that symbol on the pen? I've never looked at it. Nat Sherman? Oh, I think it's a cigar company or something. That does look to be a cigar like label, yes. Interesting. All right. Thank you for the intelligence. I'll let them in. I'm out. Thank you. Go right ahead. A nice. All right. That means a lot. It really um, made me feel a lot better about myself to know that she's still at least thinking about there's a chance that I could be human. And now I am. And I know it's a big moment, but I really want to help you figure out what happens because I really care about you. And the hush falls. I made an anti-mystery for you. But the only way to administer it is I have to let you know. But if you do anything, if you step out of line even a little bit, I'm gonna have to do that for you. Okay? Okay. I need to know what I can trust you. Ruh-roh, Raggy. Oh! Because they they are a dash three. They're, they're they're a lot stronger than me. We're shit, we're in a lot of danger. They're really strong. I just can't I can't remember their face, but they they threatened me. They said they said that if I didn't revert to my true nature, that they were gonna tell everybody that I wasn't human, and then they would all turn against me. And they were gonna tell you because they they knew about. I'd say Dr. Yeah, 
Thank you for listening. Site42 Studios and its staff are funded by viewers like you. Please become a patron or visit our merch store at the link in our bio to support our work. Secure. Contain. Protect.